Hey guys, it's Sean at Nolts Power Equipment in Shippensburg, Pennsylvania. Guys, today we are standing in what will be our brand new parts room in just a few short months. Uh, we've come in, we've got the firewall put up, we've got all of the cubicles and office walls and everything torn down over the last few weeks and months. Uh, and we have this room pretty much wrapped up as far as what it needs to be ready to start putting parts in. So I believe next week I heard we're gonna start coming in here and putting in some pallet racking. Uh, and this room is going to start to look like what you will see come September, October when we get Get moved in and we move out here to our new property at 100 Outlook Lane. The guys are still working on some other things back in the background, but today guys, let's get to what we have on the table. It's no secret that gas prices are through the roof right now. It's no secret that there is a big push for all electric cars right now, and that push has even made it to the world of power equipment. So on the table in front of me guys today, I have the Echo DPAS 2600, which is the brand new all electric battery powered uh, trimmer line from Echo, as well as the classic tried and true SRM 2620T from Echo. If you're like me, when you start seeing this push for all electric power tools, you start to get a little bit skeptical. You're not quite sure that these things are capable of doing what the gas powered machines have done for years. So if you're, again, if you're like me, you start to do some research, you jump online, you find that the Echo series has a brand new two and a half amp hour or five amp hour 56 volt lithium ion battery, which again, if you're like me, you have no clue what that means. So we take to Google and we find some great helpful information like a lithium ion battery is an advanced battery technology that uses lithium ions as a key component of its electrochemistry. Okay, we're answering some questions so far. Not. During a discharge cycle, lithium atoms in the anode are ionized and separated from their electrons. The lithium ions move from the anode and pass through the electrolyte until they reach the cathode where they recombine with their electrons and electrically neutralize. So guys, then I mentioned that we have a two and a half amp hour battery and a five amp hour battery from Echo. What, what is an amp hour? There's equations that get involved and if you're anything like me, you don't remember anything from uh, algebra at high school. So these equations don't make a whole lot of sense, but according to the internet, an amp hour equals current times discharge. So based on that equation, guys, Echo has told us that the runtime on this specific machine with a two and a half amp hour battery is going to be about 25 to 30 minutes. Um, if you take the five amp hour battery, it's going from two and a half amp hour to five amp hour. So obviously that time is going to double. So more of the story guys with these batteries is I don't really know. I'm not, I don't have a chemistry degree. Uh, so we are kind of stuck with trusting what Echo has told us as far as the runtime on these batteries. It is still a relatively new line. So uh, we're, we've got a number of them that we've sold and so far the customers love them. We've got some guys at the shop that have them uh, and they're, they're all about them. Um, but again, right now we're kind of stuck with Echo telling us that this thing can run for this long and that's, that's what we're gonna trust. So that is part of what we are here for today because in addition to how long can it run, the big question is, does it trim my grass like my old gas powered trimmer? So we're gonna jump outside around the property really quick. Uh, if you watched our video last week, you saw that we had a mess out in the field. Well, similarly, we have not trimmed any weeds around this property in almost a year. So we're gonna jump outside. We're gonna put these things to the test. We're gonna see, again, this is a very comparable model, the SRM 2620 and the DPAS 2600 from Echo. We're gonna run them for a little bit. I'm gonna go outside trim some weeds and see how they compare as far as how they feel as uh, their, their cutting ability uh, and see what happens there. So guys, again, asking questions about these lithium ion batteries and their runtime, and uh, it's, it's relatively still unknown exactly what they're capable of doing. Um, so we're gonna put it to the test. Let's jump outside. Let's put these things to the test to see what they can do. All right, uh, we interrupt this regularly scheduled program to let you know that shortly after I made the comment that we had not trimmed the weeds around our property in over a year. Similarly, we have not trimmed any weeds around this property in almost a year. So. Wilmer, uh, who is our beloved Mr. Do-It-All around Nolts, took it upon himself to realize that there were two trimmers sitting around the shop and there were weeds that needed trimmed. So he spent an entire day, the day before I shot that video, trimming the weeds. Uh, so now we are different day, different location, but we're still going to put these things to the test. So if things look a little bit different, that's why. But got to love Wilmer. He's a great guy. Every shop's got to have one of those guys that'll do whatever it takes. So Wilmer, we love you. Thanks for making this video take twice as long as it should have. All right, guys, so we're back at our property out on Ridge Road. Uh, I decided that we were going to do some weed trimming around here. We'll shine this place up a little bit. Uh, so I've got the gas-powered and the all-electric trimmers that we're going to put to the test. A couple quick things that matter with these trimmers. 
when it comes to you using them uh, is how heavy are they? Are they easy to handle? Uh, are they easy to transport, carry around? If you're going to do any amount of trimming, you're gonna be holding this thing for a while. So um, how comfortable is it to carry? Number two, I guess probably should have been number one is starting it. What does it look like to start the thing? Uh, am I gonna to have to yank my shoulder out every time I wanna start this thing uh, to get the thing up and running? Uh, I think we all know the answer to that question that we're gonna find, but anyway. Uh, and lastly, number three, does it cut well? Does it do the job? Um, I think the biggest question, the biggest thing in question there is will the, uh, we all know that the Echo gas line does a good job. So will the all battery line keep up with what the gas line has shown us they are capable of doing? So uh, without further ado, let's go turn on the gas power. We're gonna walk around here a little bit, do some trimming. Let's see what it can do. And then we will jump over to the all electric and we will talk about them after we're done. Let's get to work.
Alrighty guys, so uh, I've officially trimmed some weeds and I've broken a sweat, uh, which for those of you that have watched the channel for any amount of time know that I'm not a huge fan of that. So uh, on top of that, my battery died. So it's time to call it quits and talk about these two trimmers. Guys, the gas powered SRM 2620 uh, is everything that I expected it to be. Uh, it's heavy, it's loud, it's hot, uh, and it trims some weeds. Uh, I've got a, I've got the, the smaller, uh, the smaller version of, of that machine uh, at home. Uh, so I was pretty familiar with it. Uh, my, I have the curved shaft. It's a little bit different feel. Uh, so, so that takes us to, to some of these topics that we want to talk about was, was one, how does it feel in the hand? How easy is it to control? Uh, how heavy is it? Uh, and like I expected, it's, it's kind of a heavy, uh, awkward, a little bit tricky to maneuver machine. There's a loop on there for a strap, uh, a shoulder strap or a neck strap. Um, that if you were doing this for any significant amount of time, uh, I probably would see the value in investing in. Uh, it's kind of just a heavy tool to carry on it, compared to uh, the electrical one. We'll get to that in a second. But uh, uh, the biggest thing for me, and, and, and you guys have probably already seen my inefficiency when it comes to my uh, method of, of trimming grass uh, and weeds. But the way that I, the way that it feels comfortable for me to carry uh, this trimmer uh, is with the exhaust, uh, the, the, the cover in front of the exhaust right up against my arm. Uh, so at times I am burning my arm uh, as I'm trimming grass. So again, simple answer there is flip it over, carry it the other way, but that's not what feels natural to me. So that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's going to play into it. And that's going to be something that you're going to have to deal with if, if you've got a gas trimmer. Uh, and I deal with the same thing with mine at home. So on to the DPAS 2600 guys, if you go back to the beginning of this video, I use the word skeptical, uh, a number of times. You start to get a little bit skeptical. You're not I used probably uh, the phrase, I have some questions a couple of times. If it wasn't for the fact that my wife watches some of these videos, uh, I would show you what the process looks to go buy one of these and put it in your car. <laughs> um, guys, this thing exceeded my expectations by far. And I'm not saying that because I work at Nolts and we sell them. I got sweat rolling everywhere. Uh, I'm not saying that because I work at Nolts and we sell them. I, I say that because compared to the, the gas powered trimmer, it did everything I needed it to without burning me, without blasting my ears out because I had eye protection on, but I didn't have the ear protection today. So do as I say, not as I do. Um, I could carry that thing all day long. I could flip it back and forth between hands. I could maneuver it in and out from underneath the trees, underneath the uh, underneath the equipment that we've got sitting around. Uh, I could flip it on its side and do some edging if I wanted to. Guys, just all around, I mean, I. I can't think of why I wouldn't want to buy one myself. Uh, if you ever swing through and you talk to Wendell about it, he went and bought a whole package of these, a whole package of with this machine. And I told him it was crazy. The gas power would always win. Um, I'd need to be careful because I might be being converted to the the electric. Um, I'm not, it's a fantastic tool. Uh, blew me away, by far surpassed what I expected it to be capable of doing. As far as cutting power and another topic that we, you know, we wanted to see how they held up, I could not tell you a difference between the two machines. Uh, these are more of a, a, a commercial grade trimmer. Uh, and if you are a guy who's got a lawn care business, uh, these things will hold up, both of them will hold up to exactly what you need them to do, whether it's the gas or the electric. Um, Again, just, I mean, yeah, they, 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 they blow my trimmer out of the water for sure. Uh, the more homeowner, a little bit more residential kind of grade, um, tool, but these things, they, they will cut some grass. Let me tell you, uh, so guys, moral of the story, we're not entirely sure yet exactly what all this lithium ion science and, and all that we're, we're not, we're not the guys that talked about that yet. Uh, but what we can do is stand behind the effectiveness of the tool. Uh, this electric line from Echo, this 56 volt, uh, two and a half amp hour or five amp hour battery, all electric line from, from Echo, uh, it's no joke. Uh, and we've seen that now with the trimmers. We've got chainsaws available. We've got uh, cutters. We've got all sorts of different things uh, in this line from Echo. Uh, and we're willing to stand by it. It's a good tool. Uh, it'll do what you need to do just like your gas powered will do uh, without some of the, uh, the the downfalls of gas, uh, especially in a day and age where we're spending all kinds of money on gas. Um, just plug the thing in and, and get to work. So guys, thanks for watching another video. Uh, swing on by our Facebook page, give us a like, hey, check out our YouTube channel, uh, all of which are called Milt's Power Equipment. Uh, you can find us there. We're trying to jump into the world of YouTube shorts. Uh, so go give us some love on that one. Uh, see if we can build our subscription base a little bit up with that. So guys, thanks for stopping in and checking out the video on the gas versus electric trimmer. If you got any more questions, give us a call 717-423-6300. We'll see you next time.